Now this is a really pretty hand painted cranberry glass vase. That uh, does not look fun. And then there was a mushroom. Look at this little uh, bar thing here. So this does tend to be the time of day because there's one, two, three carts. Yeah, there we go. You can see it, it's Denby. <gasps> Ooh, look at this picture. Okay, what the heck is puppy litter? How do you use puppy litter? I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. It is midday and I have managed to get to the Goodwill. I never get to Goodwill. Well, I shouldn't say never. Every once in a while I do. But uh, I just happened to be uh, running some errands and I'm like, oh, there's a Goodwill right there. I'm going to go. <laughs> so I am back into the Goodwill that I tend to do pretty well at. It is the one on Rainbow and Alta. Now, I have had people warn me about, Danny, stop giving your location. Then I have people go, tell me your location. And I can tell you, uh, I don't have a rhyme or a rhythm to the stores I go to or the time that I go. So I feel pretty safe. And if somebody's really, really bent on uh, finding me and tailing me, they're going to do it. But I'm prepared. Make no mistake. Uh, so I'm very aware of my surroundings and all of that. So thank you to all of those of you who have been very concerned about me. Thank you. Uh, I am using my head. All right. With that, we're going to get inside the store. And the reason I want to give you the location is if I pass something behind because I'm in picky mode, I and if you're local, I want you to be able to come and grab it if you want to. So there is that. If it's still here. Okay. I'm going in. Let's get shop done. Okay, you know the drill. First thing we have to do is get us a lucky cart. There it is. That's the one right there. I am skipping over their Halloween section. I'll come back to it for sure and take a peek, but it is not the first order of business. This is a really nice little uh, mid-century bud base. It is a clear clear is not super desirable. Now, I would probably still pick this up. The color isn't what's getting me. It's all of the work that has to be done to get this cleaned up. Now, some vinegar. When I worked at 7-Eleven when I was a teenager, what we used to use in the coffee um, pots was a mixture of ice, salt, and a little Windex. And, and then we'd swish it around and that would get it pretty clean. But not knowing if that's really truly etched into the glass. I'm gonna leave that one for somebody else who's willing to do just a little bit more work if need be. There, I mean, I've heard uh, denture cleaner can work. There's things that can work. I just don't wanna put a whole, whole lot into it. This, on the other hand, is a really nice piece of pottery. It looks like Oaxacan, and it's got this really nice little design all the way around. It is not signed, but that is not a deterrent on these pieces. Most of them are not signed. It is only $4. We shall get it. I forgot to look and see what the color was. Oh yeah, that's right. We're on blue. All right, now that we know it's blue tags, we'll be looking. Now this is a really pretty hand-painted cranberry glass vase. It is vintage. It's got, is that Lily of the Valley? I think is what's on there. It is $3.99. It is a flashed glass, I'm pretty sure. By that, I mean that this is not actually this color of glass. It's a stain on there, but it's in really good condition and it's a really pretty vase. So we'll pick that up for $4. Take a peek at this little kitty cat, see who makes you. Probably just a little made in China sticker on there. I like this one though. Does not have, oh. Now, normally I wouldn't want to pay $6, but I have a lot of customers who love cats. And I feel like even at 
This is still a very, very desirable piece and I will get it. So this guy was here the last time I was here and I couldn't figure out why they had him priced at $12.99. Apparently he is a character out of Lord of the Rings, I believe. Uh, these do sell like for about $15. I did do a little research last time. So he's about a $15 figurine. So that, that's not a good reseller price on that. Oh, these glass grapes. Now, these could be a good pickup. They just are not like super exciting to me. I don't know why I'm not a grape, I'm not a grape person. Uh, so I will leave those. But um, it's not because they wouldn't resell. They probably would, probably for a pretty fair price, but not, not my cup of tea. But a piece of agate back here can be used as a single bookend. I might actually have a place for this on my shelf that I have been putting together. That is a beautiful piece for 10 bucks. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it or keep it, but I'm gonna buy it. And then over here, we have a teapot. $20 on the teapot and then another $15 on the creamer. Got a little, he is not actually metal. He is resin. So we will leave him, but I do love this. Ooh, only $4 for the blingy butterfly box, which it's not super high quality, but I think that one will be a great little resale item. Let's see what else we have up here. What other little angels? Wow. I can't even imagine getting these out of all that tape. Oh my goodness. Same with this. Getting those out of that tape. That uh, does not look fun. And then there was a mushroom. There was a mushroom for the fairy garden. It says laugh. There's probably some that say live, laugh, love. All right. Personal item. Oh, look at this. It is a little airplane bottle opener. That is really, really cool. I feel like... It's probably like a 10 to $12 piece. So I'm gonna leave it, but it's really cool. Is that glass? It is glass. Not exciting glass though. Ooh, look at that. Big old plaque. Oh yeah, that is definitely heavy. And uh, I feel like this is how it's supposed to be because some of these ancient sculptures, you know, are missing parts and pieces. 20, they put as is. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be that way, um, but it is $25, so we're gonna leave that. And since I'm down here on a lower level, I'll just stay crouched down here and take a really good look. Let's see what's here. What is this for $10? It is... Oh, they're a little uh, scented candle gift set. And then another hand dipped, oh, candles. Don't do candles. I made the mistake though. I'm wearing light colored pants and I kneeled on the floor. I hate when I do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this little, not her. Look at this little uh, bar thing here. It's got the little tequila bottle. Con todo respeto para mi pinche compadre. I have no idea what I just said, but I hope I said it good. <laughs> That's cute. That's kind of like somebody's little assemblage. It's very, very cute. Uh, and then there was a bird. Let's see what else we got. Mm, the swan is still here. What is this? It's like a piece of a nativity kind of scene type of thing. Oh, hey, it's a candle holder. I don't know, I'm confused. I see you little pig. Let's look at who you are. You don't have a name and you are chipped in a couple of places, especially broken on your ear, so we will leave you. And then there was an elephant. Daiso, Japan quality. What does that mean? What does that mean exactly? Where are you made? I guess it is made in Japan. Okay, all right. I, I thought for sure I was gonna turn it over and it was gonna say made in China, but it's not. He is cool, but he's just a little elephant. <gasps> These are nice. 
I feel like somebody painted them though. These are our shades, not shades. Well, I guess you could call them shades for ceiling light fixtures, you know, would have set up over the light bulb. But I feel like somebody painted those, which isn't bad. It's just not original. And they're also just not worth a whole lot, even if very nice ice bucket that they are asking 34. I like these. They are Avon Sea Fantasy Bud Vase Bubble Bath. See, Avon was always thinking of how can you repurpose something after you're done with the contents. This is great. We are not going to get it though. I tend to stay away from most things Avon. Oh goodness, this is not high-end glass and it's also not a fun shipping experience and they are asking 20, so that is three strikes on that. It's a, it's a cool piece. It's just not a very good resale piece. See what's up overhead. I like that one, but I'm not gonna get it. I finally have my shelves behind my desk just about set up and my turtle collection just about set up. And yes, I will be doing a tour once I get it all in place. Kind of just waiting, waiting until I have something to actually show piggy bank Let's see what's down here nothing 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 I know I've had several comments on this wedding base and unfortunately again it is $25 and really really scratched up so that is why I keep leaving that behind I suspect what might happen it'll either sell on half price red tag day or they will re price it after that sale. This has a broken piece. That's too bad. A Nesco. Another little elephant sitting back here. Oh, see, I put that home sweet home together the other day and it got messed up again. Looks like somebody just bought one of them. Wait, which one did they buy? There's home and there's home. Because there was the whole home sweet home before. Okay, that's interesting, but not even a vase. So this does tend to be the time of day because there's one, two, three carts out here going onto the shelves. So let's see what's just coming out like a big, gigantic lighter. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's $10. It's not really my thing. Let's see what we got here. Who are you? You are Harry Potter. Oh, you're Harry Potter, but you're $8. Sorry, Harry, you're gonna have to stay there for a while. I'm sure somebody will come along and want you, but then, but then there was a little corgi plush. Hmm, does Jordan need a corgi plush? No, I feel like, I feel like she doesn't. I feel like I'm not going to contribute to uh, her getting in trouble with having too many things. Now I do look at these old plastic animals. There are some of them that are worth quite a bit. I'm actually a collector of them because it's something from my childhood that was near and dear to me. These are not really desirable ones, so we are not going to take those. Look at all these timers, oh my goodness. Lots of happy time. Okay. And there's another big squishmallow. The squishmallow market is it's kind of it's kind of done. It's uh, one of those things, you know, that the race to the bottom happened and the market got flooded and uh, the prices didn't stay up. They uh, they raced downwards. Let's look over on this cart. Little brass something or other. A little black pot, not a great one. Lots of games and things that we're not really into. There's some vases up top. My, that is very large, but uh, very cheaply made. Let's see, oh, that's kind of cool. A little cell phone purse leather. Can't tell what that used to, oh, I think it says Montana West. 
Montana West is actually a good brand. It's large. You would put it on your belt. It's $6.99 though. If that wasn't $6.99, I'd probably have picked that up because it's cool. Montana West is a good, good name. It's got some art down here. What is this? Let's roll. <laughs> Cute bathroom art. All right, nothing super exciting in these, which means maybe, maybe they've already put the exciting stuff out on the shelves. Let's go find out. All right, let's look in the metal section. That is kind of cute. I kind of like those for outdoor art. They are $7.99 each though. So we'll pass. This has a nambe look to it, but it's not. It's living quarters. It doesn't quite have the weight and feel of nambe. I figure lots of companies were copying because nambe is so expensive. <gasps> Ooh, I like this. I like this. It needs a little repair, but it is the original wood top. It's just the one of the screws is gone. Oh, ten dollars. I mean, it is cool. It is very cool, and it is uh, a very, very blended <laughs> mark. I think it says Czechoslovakia. I just don't know. I don't know if I can do ten dollars on it. I know I'm going to disappoint someone, but I just don't think I can do ten on it. I think it's, I think it's like a twenty to twenty-five dollar item. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I, I might have regrets when I am editing this video and I've looked it up. It's possible, but again, it's one of those things. You see the video, you want to come back and grab it. I love that. Oh, those guys are interesting. Wow. Huh. Cool. But it is $20. I mean, I'm not opposed to paying $20 for something, um, but that's not a very shippable piece. It would have to sell in the store. So that makes my decision on not grabbing something big like that right now. Yeah, nothing else on this shelf, except maybe $5.99 World Hand Forge, not the one we're looking for. And let's look over here. See what else we've got. See a lot of the same stuff that was here the last time I was here. I like this basket. I like that basket. Probably would have had a little, uh, like a pottery insert there for your dip. And then this looks like a chess set. Are the pieces in there? Let's look. Stand by. I counted 32 pieces, 16 of each color. And so I'm thinking that should be the right amount. Wait, how do you, ah, I don't play chess. I don't play chess, so I'm not exactly sure. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's right. Okay, for $7.99, we're gonna pick this up. I know, don't laugh. Sometimes that's just how my brain has to do things. Gotta, gotta count, count out in my head a little sometimes. And sometimes I just don't turn the camera off while I'm doing that. What is this? Oh, it's a little dollhouse with little dollhouse furniture. Wait, it says Melissa and Doug. Oh, it's so cute. It's a Melissa and Doug dollhouse. Okay, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that for somebody else. Very, very big. Nice little jewelry box. Needs a little love. Alright, I don't see anything else that uh, we need to put in the cart right now. Okay, let's peruse the plastics. Oh, those are cute. From uh, Sunset Station. Bowling Alley. Those are really cute, actually. <laughs> I mean, not, not something I need to buy or anything. I can just admire cuteness sometimes. I like creative ideas. And that was a creative idea for a bowling alley to put out to put their drinks in. 
All right, I really love these dishes right here. Who makes you? Oh, there I am on the floor again. Oh, they're Royal Norfolk. Those would have been really, really cheap dishes at the time that they were for sale, probably like at the dollar store. This is that French country hand-painted exclusively for Monte Carlo, Las Vegas. That was probably pretty pricey. I am not a fan of shipping platters. Don't like it, don't want to, I'm sorry. I just kind of have an aversion to it. Who's driving that pink Cadillac? Is that, oh, it is Mary Kay. Don't hear too much about Mary Kay anymore. You used to hear it all the time. I sold it for a very, very short time. A very short time. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get into the whole thing. And that is when I switched over to Avon and Avon became my career choice for several years. And I was one of the top Avon ladies in Southern California. And that was really fun. I, I'm, I'm a little bit on the competitive side and the way it was all structured, it was, it was very competitive and uh, that did well for me. I opened the very first Avon showroom, which ultimately caused Avon to change its corporate policy, and they made me close. People pointed out that these are Denby, and that the Denby is a very good brand. I know Denby to be a very good brand, but I don't know about this pattern. Yeah, there we go. You can see it. It's Denby. How much is that? So it's $6 and $10. See, I'm... I'm just not digging those price points for it, uh, so I will leave that for somebody else. Okay, these are on an end cap, and I'm not exactly sure what they are. Just little, little leaf hangy things. All right, let's go look in the mugs. I've done quite well with mugs lately. They sell very quickly. So that one's chipped. I don't see anything too super exciting. He's cute, but he's pretty common. Let's look over here. Mary Engelbright is still there. Yeah, I see no excitement in the mugs. How about the glassware? Take a peek there. Are these Pioneer Women? I'm thinking maybe they are cute but not something we are gonna pick up these are nice with the little platinum rims very elegant unfortunately just not a real easy sell sometimes things will sell for good money but they don't sell quickly they are what we call a long tail item, and if space is limited, you don't want to stock up on too many long tail items. Cute little mason jar, salt and peppers. They're just painted though, they're kind of, they're cheaply made, and with all that tape on there, it's very, very likely that the tape is, yeah look, that tape's going to take the paint right off when you go to peel those. Got a glass fish with a broken, broken tail. We know he has a chip. Saw him last time. Otherwise there's no way he'd still be here. Somebody would definitely have snagged him. That is a pretty dish. It's just nothing super special unfortunately. Oh, It's a really nice elegant glass etched appetizer tray, but not a huge market for such things. And Darth Vader or Stormtrooper. I guess it's a Stormtrooper, but I'm not exactly sure what that bottle would be for. So we will keep going. We will keep searching. If I didn't find another thing, I would be happy. I've got some really nice stuff in my cart. <gasps> Ooh, look at this picture. I like it. It's contemporary. It's not old. It's made by American Pride. Actually, it's almost vintage. It's 2004. That is pretty fantastic. It's six dollars. <gasps> I love it. I love it. These are really good too. I 
gosh, why is it just, I'm, I'm drawing blank. I want to say it's Lennox makes these, but I could be wrong. I'm going to have to like put it up on the screen here uh, when I'm editing. But these palm tree etched glasses. Now I'm wondering if it's got a friend here somewhere because a pair of these would definitely be desirable. But I didn't, I didn't I'm going to go back and look at the glass section one more time. Okay, he doesn't have a friend, so we're gonna we're gonna leave him. Keep a looking. We've got a little super Linus peanuts. Oh, I, it doesn't feel like it's in here. Wait, are you sealed? No, you don't feel like you're in there. You feel like an empty box. I feel I feel like Linus has left the building. Let's see. Oh yeah, definitely an empty box, which is that's very sad because I bet it was in there. That's a bummer. You are, what are you? You're vintage. Chef's wear, USA. Oh, you're cracked. Let's just have a nice, simple look to them. I like them. Oh, I didn't see you a moment ago. Oh, you're very, very scratched. That is why you are only a dollar fifty. See how scratched the gold bird is? That's too bad. I might have picked that up. All right, let's keep moving. See what other goodies are here. What a tomato pitcher. Tuscan veggie. Not super exciting. I think somebody was telling me last time too that I passed up another Piner Woman spoon rest, but this one is not Piner Woman, if that's might have been seen in the background. Oh, a chippy dippy. Again, very, very scratched up and they have priced them separate. So they want 15 for this one and five. So basically $20 for that set. And it is missing the little holder for it. I have to look at these little uh, martini snack dishes. Those are fun, clay art, ah, $6 each. No can do, can't do $6 each. But I like them. I like them a lot. Okay. See anything else over here? Ooh. Oh, I think it's a project piece. I thought for a moment it was a piece of Hadley pottery, you know, from a distance, but uh, it is not. It is not. Hadley kind of has that kind of childlike design to it. All right, let's look through the kitchen stuff. I need to get Noah a knife sharpener. I know he keeps putting the little note in the videos. It's really funny because I kind of review the video before it finally goes out and I keep seeing his little note about needing a knife sharpener. So I really need to get on that. Who makes you? It doesn't say. Nice stoneware pot. Oh goodness, let's see. Nothing. I skimmed through here pretty quick, but I was looking for something out of place. But I don't see anything out of place today. All right, let's look in the office supplies, arts and crafts, kind of sections, catching fire. Let's see what year you're from. Printed in the USA, 2009. Oh, not, not too old. I like old books. All books are cool. I see something that Rachel could probably use. They are a dollar each. I will get her some little paint palettes. All is something an artist can use more of. Let's see what else we've got in the artsy stuff. Art B. What is this? Color. What is this? Basic drawing and painting techniques, colors, concepts. Oh, I see horses in the back and an eagle. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell you guys what happened. I think I'm gonna get this for Rachel too. I gotta tell you what happened yesterday while I was doing my whatnot sale. So I do it from my backyard, my back patio, and I'm just sitting there, I'm almost done with the sale, and all of a sudden I hear this screech and some turmoil happening over like to my right hand side and I out of the corner of my eye I see feathers flying 
and it was a hawk was trying to catch a pigeon and he he didn't catch him he got like a little piece of him and uh, feathers went everywhere and then the hawk just sat there on my uh, porch swing just staring at me and I sized him up and I was thinking ah there is no more letting peanut and Ozzy out unattended and it looks to be Rachel's lucky day and yes they're all in there all right yeah, so, I mean, Ozzy's never out unattended um, because he's little and can, you know, kind of go through a crack in the fence or something. So we're we're very careful with him. But I do let Peanut out, and I'm, I don't know. I mean, it's borderline whether that hawk could have grabbed Peanut or not. But it definitely, definitely made me realize I need to be much, much more cautious with them. Because that would just, oh, I don't even want to think about how crushing that would be. This guy's five ninety nine, but he's got he's got some damage. If he didn't have damage, I'd I'd, I'd almost pay that for him, because these old uh, kind of sponge holders are still very very popular. But we'll leave him. Okay, what the heck is puppy litter? How do you use puppy litter? Um, I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's odd. Okay, all right. Interesting, interesting. It's kind of household and tool section. I usually tootle through here pretty quick too, just to see if there's anything super needed. I literally just bought one of these and got my TV mounted yesterday. Of course, of course I did. All right, let's look through your art. I like that, welcome to our crazy, fun, loud, happy home. I don't think our home is loud. It's fun. It's crazy. It's happy. It's not loud. That's an interesting little still art right there. I don't see anything in the art that we can't live without today. Okay, now we have like a sporting goods department, which I also skimmed through pretty darn quick. Look at this couch. I mean, it needs some work, but I love the lines of this. It's not actually a super old one. This is like a this is like a repro piece, like a revival piece. It's still old. It's just not like 1800s old. All right, they got some lamps up here. Looks like the lamp department spilleth over. We're gonna come over and look at some of this art. There's a little poo on the shelf. That's such a classic little poo print. $3.99. Christopher Robin handing Pooh the blue balloon. I'm not going to get it, but I love it. Let's see. No, I don't see anything else super exciting in there. Hmm. Let's see what's in this side of the lamp department nothing nothing that we need oh i like the green i like the green lights we're gonna peek through the miscellaneous sometimes we can find some pretty good things in here oh that's very orange goodness uh, i don't see anything too exciting today though nope and these are so cute, but again, just wrong, wrong time of year. Let's peek at the pillows. <laughs> I've always liked these pillows that look, you know, like a snack thing. They have them at the swap meet all the time. I mean, they're not cheap, but I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, I, I gotta tell you, I don't know what the resale market is. I don't think it's high enough you know, for me to worry about passing that by and I am trying to be super selective. I really, really am trying. All right, we are at the purses. Looking. That's cute. Who makes you? Do you have a tag? You do not have a tag. Oh yeah, you got just like the made in China tag. Cute. $5. Got a little NASCAR pin on it. I'm still, I'm debating as of the 
filming of this whether I am going to do a pop-up sale on Saturday or not. Of course, you won't see this video before I do that. But the way to make sure that you are not going to miss out on any of my whatnot sales is to make sure you're following me over on whatnot. Sign up for that $15 of free money and then uh, just to bookmark my sales so you get notified when I pop up. This is a really nice Laura Scott purse. Uh, just a nice, basic, simple black purse for $6.99. And it's got a wallet inside as well. So I think I'm going to pick that up for my purse sale. I spotted this little, this cute little leather made in Mexico guy, but look how tiny that is. It's tiny, 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 and it's still six bucks. So we're going to leave that one and see what else is here. Sometimes I leave really good purses and then, you know, I learn a little bit more. That's a Liz Claiborne. That's actually really nice too. I learn a little bit more as I'm editing and I look stuff up so I can be more confident in what I pick up. Is this the one I was looking at with that really wide strap, the Mondani? Okay, I had a lot of comments telling me that I should have picked this one up. That it's vintage, even with the Velcro. So, you know what? I don't I don't know what the price is on this one now cuz I don't I don't see a price, but let me look this up real quick. So, a real quick search tells me this is only worth like 15 to 20 dollars and it is faux leather. It is not real leather, so we're going to we're going to put that one back, but it was definitely worth taking a peek. And what is sax? I don't know, it looks like a cheaper brand. It's like a cloth. All right, I think we're good with just our our one little purse. Oh wait, what are you? You are another, well, there's lots of Liz Claiborne. I like this one. But I just don't think it's like Warren's paying $17.99. All right, let's see what they have added to the jewelry. I'm kind of digging those little, um, can you see me pointing at it? There we go. Little birdhouse earrings, just because they're fun. So I think I may grab those. I'm going to look at this pin right here. And what else? Ooh, I like those. Let's look at those too. Uh, let's see. Gotta remember what I already looked at before that still catches my eye. So I don't look at it again. Ooh, tiger eye, I do believe that is. Okay, there's a few things we want to pull out and take a peek at. Stand by. All right, I think these are definitely yes. Oh, they're made of wood. They're so cute. I know, aren't they, darling? They're five bucks, okay. And the blue ones are half price, do they? We're going to take those. This is, I wasn't sure if this was lapis or sodalite. I, I'm leaning toward it being lapis, actually. It's a very nice, very nice little bracelet. It looks like a handcrafted piece, just kind of, there's no finishing touch. Like, they needed another little bead right there. How much is that one? Five bucks. Hmm. Are you over 55? I, I know I get a little oh, bit yeah. of a discount. Yes. Yeah. I try to make my decision based on the uh, well, the tag price, yes. too. Yep. Ooh, I just wish they'd finished it with some beads here. Mm. I like it. I like it. I think I'm going to get that one. All right. Let's. Oh, it's not a pin. It's like for a scarf. Oh, or. Or is this one of those sliders, like it goes like on a chain and then you, uh... Whatever you want to make it, I guess. I'm and it is, it is half price. Uh, yeah, for two bucks, we will take that. These are interesting. Oop, as I throw them. They are pierced. They have a really nice look. Very safari-esque, if you will. I, I, I'm going to get those two. Okay, pulled out a few more pieces. This is interesting. Let's see if we can tell if it's got any age. I don't know when it's this material. 
four dollars. Yeah, that one doesn't excite me. I pulled out these earrings. Interesting. I don't think they're old though. Look at these. Oh, did you find another nice little pair? Well, they're half price. Yeah. Oh, they are kind of different. Little rhiny stones. Oh, half price. They're still ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> this little charm bracelet is four ninety nine. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't have a very good weight or anything. Is it tiger's eye? Oh, now that I look at it, it's not. It's just little stones. Okay, we're gonna put that one back. This is, oh, these are like polymer clay. Those are, those are odd. Yeah, I, was like, I thought that was kind of cool. It's $12.99. Okay, we'll put that one back. But then this caught my eye. It is half price. It's only $3. And it's little purple dyed shells with a barrel clasp for $3. You can see it. We'll grab that one. So I pulled this little chain link one out because of that last one I got that was Lucite, but this one I do believe is Charming Charlie's. It's got the C on there and it's very, it's very plasticky, so we'll put that one back. All right, a few little jewelry scores, I think, and it's time to check out. I'm headed out that way. Stay tuned. I'll go over everything with a fine tooth comb, share more of why I bought, what it is, what I found out. That's coming up. And then after that, I have the regular recap that you have been used to for so long. That's just at the end now where I summarize everything back up for you and share that. Okay, it's coming up right now. You know what time it is? Let's talk about the stuff that I bought at this Goodwill. Bouge. For those that don't know, this is my Quaker parrot, Bougie. I get asked often, what kind of a bird is he? He's a naughty bird. I will tell you that. Are you naughty? Let's get on with the haul. Not a very big haul today. The pen, not included. That's over there with my cheat sheet. Uh, so let's start off with this little piece of pottery. Uh, first, I thought this was Mexican pottery, but I am having my doubts now. Uh, all the research that I've been doing is bringing up African pottery which is interesting. I will probably, when I list this, not give it an exact affiliation because I'm not sure if it is Mexican Oaxacan or if it is uh, African. Now that I look, it's not. So most of the ones I found were like beer vessels. And I don't think, I think this is more of a vase. Okay, I'm going to lean back towards Mexican pottery. If you know for sure if it's one or the other, I would love for you to let me know down in the comments. Nonetheless, it's a beautiful little pot and it's either way, it's about the same price, 25 to $30. The cranberry glass is a, what we call a flashed piece. And you can see right there, there is one little spot where there's like a little scratch in the red stain that they put on this but I thought it was so nicely painted. At first I thought it was etched and it's not. It is hand painted like a Mary Gregory style piece. It is vintage. Unfortunately, they're not worth a whole lot. This is a 12 to $15 vase, but it's so pretty and elegant. It will sell really, really quickly. And it's what I call one of those bread and butter pieces. Uh, so I did go ahead and pick that up for just $3.99. Did you know the reason that they did the the staining and the flashing on those vases was that red glass is the most expensive color to produce yes i guess it's very hard to make some really good red glass so they found a way to make red glass without making red glass pretty cool huh yeah so kitty cats are timeless uh, this one Everything I could find shows he is mid-century. Although we don't have a name on him, he is pretty cool and he's well done and he's a good size. So my $5.99 purchase will be turned into $20 to $25. And for those who like the regular recap where I just put on the screen what it is, how much I paid and how much it's worth, 
That's coming up right after this. If you don't want to go through this, you can just hit that fast forward button a little bit and there it'll be. Uh, this is a geode. It's stained, this blue color, and it is beautiful. I'm still torn whether to sell it or keep it. I do kind of love it and I'm going to be showing my shelves very soon that I have been getting my collections out on and it would fit really perfect. You're going to understand that uh, in one of the next videos, I will do a little tour of my collection and you can see what I'm talking about. If I were going to sell this, it would be in the $25 to $30 range. I paid $10 because I really am leaning towards keeping it. The last time I passed up one of these beaded boxes, I got, I got in trouble. So I did not pass this one by. It is a beautiful butterfly. Oh, I still got the tag on there. You can see I paid $4. It is worth about $12 to $15. And it again is one of those items that I just know will sell really, really quickly in my niche lady shop. Okay, were you laughing at me when I was trying to count the pieces? I was counting checker squares. I realize that now. This is how chess is set up. Although I'm not sure I have the pieces in the right position. So so bear with me if I got it wrong. But I, I generally have it right. And it's enough to tell that all of the pieces are here so that we can take pictures and make sure this item gets sold. Uh, that being said, it's like a composite material. Like it's not stone and it's not resin. It's kind of a mix of the two. It's a nice size actually for setting out on a little table and being able to play chess it's a it's a stone composite board it's got the nice carved wood framing it's got the drawers to hold the pieces this cool little set that i paid 7.99 for will sell in the 40 to 50 dollar range this picture is very interesting i cannot find not only another one like it but i can't find this brand it is a 2004, making it nearly 20 years old. Doesn't seem to be a lot of them out there. Uh, if you've seen it or you know something I don't know about this, please let me know. But I think it is absolutely fantastic. And the colors, just the colors, the vibrance and, and all of that. Um, because there isn't another one out there, I am going to put this probably in the $25 to $30 range. Could it be worth more? It could. But I looked at other patriotic uh, type pictures and 25 to 30 seems to be a good price point. So that's where this is going to go. So I did pick up this Laura Scott purse. Now it is just a nice, really, really functional, good looking purse. The price was right, $6.99. I will probably get 20 to 25 for this really, really nice purse that also comes with its little wallet. So very clean, uh, very, very usable for many occasions. Uh, so that was, that was a good pickup for me. What you doing up there? Are you looking for pistachios? You are, aren't you? Yeah, I know, I know how you fly. <laughs> Let's talk about jewelry. Of course, you know, I couldn't resist the little uh, birdhouse earrings, even though I don't wear earrings. I just thought these were really cool. They're actually green tree jewelry made in the USA. They are made from sustainably sourced wood on 90% recycled cards. So very, very um, on point for today's purchasers. Uh, these should bring 12 to $15. As you know, I was a little bit torn on this one. It is lapis lazuli, and I just wish they'd have finished it with another bead here and here. That would have made it worth a bit more. But just on the little stones itself, and as a beautiful piece, I paid $4.99 for it, which is a little more than I would have liked to, but it's still a $12 to $15 bracelet. This is dyed shells. You can see, I think the color is what drew me in and the fact it was only $3 because it was half price. This is another 10 to $12 piece. And I have been selling a lot of jewelry in that price point. So um, that was good for me, not super high end. I'll tell you something I'm very sad about. So as I was getting all of that tape off of these earrings, this happened. It chipped. 
and I'm so sad because these are so cool. Now, the only thing I could find similar to these is something that's being called uh, Yawa from Australia, Y-O-W-A-H. I don't know if that's true or not, but they say it's like a, a composite. So I am sad that unfortunately these are no longer saleable, but I did want to mention, and, and if anybody knows anything more about these earrings, I would sure, sure, sure love to hear it. And, and please, Goodwill, please stop taping everything to death. Now this piece here was my score. Like this probably is the only piece of jewelry I should have purchased. Uh, I was attracted to the green. I thought it was a pin, turned it over and found that it is a slide pendant. But the biggest surprise is right there. It is 925 and it is Bars or Barsi. I'm not sure the correct way to say that, uh, but it is a very, very desirable piece. Now, it's really interesting. People say, you know, I can't find anything in my Goodwills. All the other resellers have been there. This item had been in that case for a week, maybe even more than a week. I don't know, long enough to go half price. Let's put it that way. Maybe even like two weeks. I don't know how, how soon they do that color change, but it sat there and nobody, nobody must have even looked at this piece. And there it is. It is, it is Bars 925 sterling silver, and it is worth 40 to $50. And I paid two. So that's it. That's it, Boosh. That is, that is our haul. Hi, hi, how are you? How are you? <laughs> He's such a nut. All right, thank you everybody who uh, has given me the feedback that you do enjoy this part of the video. And uh, for those who want the regular recap, well, that's coming up right now. I have not done away with that. And then I gotta give this guy a pistachio. Yes, because he wants a pistachio. Oh yes, yes, He's. Uh, this is what he does. <laughs> All right, everyone, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.